Today we'll be doing the hair Daenerys wore when her Dothraki horde was raiding a Lammed village. To accomplish this, you need one large hair tie with no metal and three small hair elastics. You also need something with a hook or hole at the end, like this crochet needle. To begin, part your hair down the center of your head. We want the top braids to sit about where a crown would sit, so make sure to aim your braids in that direction as you go. Take a section of hair along your front hairline between this spot and your part. Split it into three sections and begin making a Dutch braid by weaving each outer strand under the middle one in alternating order. If you have a thick head of hair, your braid will probably be sufficiently large so that you can just braid the section to the ends. If you have thinner hair or less of it, you may want to lace braid for a little bit to thicken up the braids. I'm doing that here until each individual strand has been added to once. Lace braiding is like a French braid with hair only added to one side. So whenever I'm about to braid the strand closest to the top of my head, I add in a section of free hanging hair before weaving it all underneath the middle strand. Once your braid is as thick as you'd like it, braid to the ends. Duplicate this process on the other side of your head. Add in as much hair as you did the first time so that both braids are the same size and pay attention in a mirror to make sure that the braid placement is symmetrical. Bring both braids together at the center of the back of your head and combine them. To do this, stick a finger through the left hand braid at the spot of combination so that two strands are on the left and one is on the right of your finger. Stick another finger on the same hand through the right hand braid, only this time there should be one strand on the left and two on the right. These isolated sections, the two on the left, two on the right, and two middle ones from either braid, will become the three sections for your combined braid. Release the elastics holding these braids, loosen below your hand, and then braid the sections you're holding down near the ends. If your hair isn't very long, like as long as mine, you can add in more hair to this braid from the back of your head so that you get more length to the braid. Next we will make the two bottom braids. On one side of your head, collect a section of hair along your hairline between your top braid and your ear. Begin Dutch lace braiding by adding in free hanging hair to the topmost strand and weaving underneath the middle strand, but this time lace braid all the way until you reach the center of the back of your head. Shoot for this braid to be as parallel as possible to the braid above it. Once you reach the back of your head, braid to the ends and secure. Repeat with the other side of your head, being careful again to make sure that these braids are symmetrical and that one isn't higher or lower than the other.
We're also going to combine these braids. Since there are three rather than two to combine, we could just release the elastics and use each braid as a different strand, but sometimes this lets the braids loosen too much. What I'm doing here is combining all three left strands, middle strands, and right strands, and then braiding with each of these new sections. Braid down several inches past your shoulder or until the ends of your hair, whichever comes first. Now gather this braid and all the remaining hanging hair at the nape of your neck and secure into a low ponytail with your large elastic. Release the small elastic holding the end of the braid and loosen it up to the large elastic. The final step is to hide this hair tie holding the ponytail. If your hair isn't much longer at this point, you can skip this step and be done already, but for everyone else this looks closer to the original Daenerys style. To do so, grab a small section of hair from underneath the ponytail and wrap it around the hair tie until there are only about 4 inches left to wrap. Grab your hook tool and stick it into the ponytail so that it comes up underneath the hair tie. Hook the remaining part of the wrapped hair and pull back down underneath the elastic. To avoid catching any other hair around the outside of the hair tie, I turn the crochet needle to face inwards while I drag the hair down through. All going according to plan, the finished hairstyle will look like this. Thanks everyone for watching and be sure to comment with more suggestions for what to do next. See ya!